Passive cooling could be defined as anything that cools your building that's not part of the active mechanical system. So if you have a packaged unit and you have a duct system in your home, that's active cooling. That's expensive to run that system and to cool your home. On the counter side, passive cooling is free to use and it all occurs during the planning stage of your project. So it's something you have to consider at the very beginning of the project and you see benefits in reduced bills at the end of every month after the project's completed. A few common passive cooling solutions would be large windows and doors positioned on either side of the home, which would allow a breeze to come through the home. And this is so easy to achieve in San Diego. It's almost humorous, um, but everybody needs to be passively cooling their homes through most of the year in San Diego. It's just a no brainer. A couple other strategies, if you're gonna be a little more advanced, would be locating some sort of water on the outside of one of these windows. This way, as the water evaporates, it can be drawn through the home and further cool the home. Another way we can take advantage of passive cooling is by capitalizing on the fact that heat rises. And this is called the stack effect. So we can plan our structures so that there's a skylight, and when the skylight opens, it exhausts the heat from the building. So we can draw in the cool ocean breeze in San Diego, and we can exhaust any heat through a vented skylight. That's a great strategy.